Hello everyone. I am so glad you're joining me today for another paint pour. Let me try and get a little more light here. Okay. Today we are working on a gallery wrapped canvas. It's an artist loft, eight by eight inch, um, taped and push pinned. So that it's all ready to go. Take that little extra step. Uh, today I want to try a flip cup because I did a flip cup the other day. It worked out really lovely. I haven't done flip cups in a while. Um, may throw something more onto it once I get it down there. You never know. Uh, let's go through the colors. I wanted something sort of bright and cheerful and back to some of my favorite tones. So we're going to start with Art Minds Decor in Lilac Bloom. Art Minds Decor in Plum Fairy. And the last of our sort of pink purple tones will be Art Minds Decor in Majesty. I've got Folk Art Metallic in Ice Blue. I have Art Minds Decor, we're doing a lot of Art Minds today, in Mermaid. So that's sort of like a seafoam green, it's a green blue. Uh, we have Grumbacher Academy um, in Prussian blue. And then I have a little bit leftover from a previous pour of some Arteza Mars Black I might throw in. Okay, so our canvas is ready. I'm going to move it forward a bit so I can put the cup here. Can you see the cup from there? I guess you sort of can. Here, I'll move this off to the side and put the cup right there. And that way you can really see as we blood this. Now the one thing with a flip cup is you want to make sure that you're mixing alternating lights and darks and getting nice combinations. You don't want to put your paint sort of in a all the lights together, all the darks together thing because I sort of alternate around and I want to alternate the blues and the greens. That should be more than enough. So we're gonna put that over there. We'll bring this back to the center. Make sure you can see it well. I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's give it a go. We're just gonna do one big flip cup. So we're just gonna flip it right there in the middle. We're gonna let that sit a minute, drip down. And what I found worked really cool the last time was I poked some holes and let it start to burp out the bottom. We want to give it a minute. We want that paint to pull down with some gravity so it's all down the bottom. Give it a little air release. That's going to let it flow out. With some cool effects. I'm gonna burp it a little. Pull that off. Oh, that's looking pretty. Okay. Look at that. Oh. All right. Let's give that a quick torch. So there's a lot of air bubbles. Tilt it slowly. Let it get close to all the edges. I don't want to go over too much yet. Sort of give it a quick. Uh, now we'll start going over those edges. it 
down, we'll clean up these edges and corners a bit. Places where we didn't quite get enough. galaxy-like look to it. sides are so pretty. It's very important if you're doing one of these deep canvases that you make sure that your sides are as pretty as your canvas. You don't want to skip. Let me wipe my hands down. Good. I need to torch this again, but it is really looking pretty. The last of these air bubbles I'm seeing. So I'm still seeing quite a few air bubbles, and you want to kill those air bubbles while it's still really wet. You don't want a lot of air bubbles because then you're going to have a whole batch of little pits. If you kill those air bubbles early while your paint is wet, it'll sort of level itself back out again and solve that issue. because it pops so many air bubbles. Take you out here. Um, brought up a whole batch of little cells. Look at this. I love this swirl here on this corner and it goes all the way around the corner. See that's what I'm talking about. You want those sides. Look how the side just flows right into the painting. And we got that other swirl on this corner that I really love. I love the Prussian blue in there definitely have the galaxy look to this one. They're sort of the center of our galaxy. This funny cracky line. I don't know how that got there, but maybe it dribbled or something. But it's there. Let me come over this side again. Look at how the paint just flows. The whole pattern just flows right over that edge. That's what we're looking for. So pretty. Oh, I'm loving this. And again, there's our last side. Beautiful, all flowing together. That's what we want. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. I'll add some photos. Thank you so much for watching. That was a nice, quick one.